Hello, 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 and welcome again to another Empyrean Galactic Survival video in the Reforged Eden uh, scenario pack. Um, right now, I have discovered another crashed capital vessel, it looks like, and I thought it would be interesting to go through another salvage operation because we draw ever so closer to making our first small vessel so that we may be able to actually leave this planet and check out for other things out in space. Uh, there are going to be lots of technology here, uh, so I would want to actually get this uh, heavy hover vessel attached to this uh, capital vessel. If I can do that. There. Now that's attached to the capital vessel. I think, yes, I can access the cargo, which is great because then I, oh, another thing to mention. I did some heavy modification of the cargo bus. I decided to make the majority of its hull out of uh, car container extensions because it can carry a heck of a lot more now. I replaced the cargo boxes on the sides. Uh, so the interesting thing here is, is that the shape of the blocks also determine how much can be stored in it. So these slopes can actually only store probably about half of what a regular cube can but just to keep it nice and pretty I decided to use it anyways just to keep the looks and besides oh I, I need to add some uh, wireless I thought I had some wireless blocks but I may have forgotten to attach them Anyways, if, if I can't do that, then I'll just store them by hand. Or I could make a core and clean this temporarily. It's probably what I'll do. But as for now, since I can't connect to it, we're going to just go around and do our usual salvage run. There's a gravity generator. Ooh, some elemental pentaxid? That's some good stuff. It's uh it tends to be a very expensive crafting material. Uh titanium plates the usual material a whole bunch of cobalt alloy. Uh of course we're gonna have to go back up here, access the inventory manually. Maybe this might be enough material to create a few wireless box, maybe? I should have done this earlier, but I had completely forgotten, apparently. Uh, no, we need carbon substrate and more opticals and computers. So I need to salvage more technology before I can do that. Uh, Electronics and optical fiber. That definitely grants a lot of optical fiber, so I'll take that. Oh, it grants some computers. Helpful. Uh, but yes, we are getting pretty close to creating the small vessel, so I figured why do that? I already did the majority of the gathering off camera, so I can. Uh, finish it off here on recording that way we can see it get built placed and then we take off into space to see what we can find uh, the vehicle doesn't have any weaponry to start off with I purposefully made it that way so that it'd be easier to spawn in but considering all the technology that I've been scrounging up and whatnot. It doesn't seem all that difficult. 
I was thinking maybe Reforged Eden would make that technology harder to acquire, but um, no, it's, it's decently easy as long as you uh, you know what you're doing and you're scrounging around for it. Is there anything underneath here? Oh. This goes pretty deep. Maybe we might be able to find something. Or absolutely nothing. Oh, there's definitely something. Oh, look at that. Cold box. Cool. More plants. Just what we need. Another. A fruit pie. Oh, I am kind of hungry. Perfect. I kind of forgot to bring some food, so that was definitely quite helpful. Wow. I guess I found the freezer room. Because there's just fridges lined up. Ice chunks. Phoenix fern. Frond. Interesting. Oh. A medical... medical station. Some thorn, which can be used to make medical kits. But the recipe hasn't changed on that, that is. Sure, it probably has slightly. Okay. For the most part, it's mostly food, but a few materials. Uh, emergency oxygen. That can come in handy if I run out. I'm likely here on a uh, breathable planet. Candy is underwater like I am now. Speaking of, actually. Oh, wow. I'm actually not underwater right now. How curious. Oh, I think that's. I thought that's the end of it. Is there a block underneath? Nope. Nope. I believe that's the end of it. So what we found was the medical kitchen room? It's an interesting mix. I'll say that much. Uh, let's go over here and see what we can find. Swap back to the advanced multi-tool. Salvage that. Oh. Food. Oh, there's a lot of technology here. Energy pills. Another alien thorn. A armor locker. You never usually find anything in an armor locker anyways. Uh, you would think you'd find like some leftover armor or maybe some armor upgrades, but no, not really. Okay. I'm going to leave the water. I need to go dump off some components. We'll see if we can then make that wireless block. Alright. Dump everything in here. As you can see, we jump from like 1,000 to 4,164, so this is being a lot, a lot more helpful with the improved capacity. Carbon substrate, which means we need to go collect some wood and stone, and I did add a CPU to this, so it's running okay with the drills on the end and such now. Wood. And then let's turn the drills back on. No touchy switch. And 
let's just drill into the ground. I did grab some silicon earlier with with this drill setup. Um, however, I did so in the Polaris territory, and I'm not exactly honored. Oh, whoops. I may have... Yeah, I may have taken a angle a little too steep. So, we're going to try and pull out of this if we can. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That was just too steep of an angle, so I'm just going to dig into the ground here. Yeah, so I wound up needing silicon, and I was needing it uh, in the moment, so the nearest supply was at the Polaris uh, territory. And because I'm not honored with them, they don't like it when I mine their resources. But thankfully, it doesn't anger them that much where they would instantly become unfriendly with me uh, at a moment's notice. So I was able to easily just pick up some silicon and get the heck up out. Uh, as you can see here, um, our reputation with them has fallen below half, but that can be easily remedied by doing some missions for them or, uh, you know, doing some usual things like getting rid of enemies in their territory or killing Xerax and such like that. So, no troubles there. Um, it is time to check to see if we can get that wireless adapter created. Okay, I clearly have it set floating a little too high. Okay, there we go, that's better. Now, we want to make as many of these as we can. We're just gonna let that roll. We got empty inventory, so we're just gonna scrap some things until it's got some of those crafted. And once it is crafted, we should be more than more than able to uh, just go crazy with the salvaging. Uh, I did it to the I did some salvaging on the other base off camera. Uh it was far easier because I was I did claim the base and being since I did claim it, I was able to attach the uh hovercraft to the base and connect to the hovercraft remotely. So it was it was pretty easy on that front. Uh we're gonna scrap up this technology here. Ooh, there's a container. Oh, cobalt and iron ore. I'll take that. Food processor. Fridge. Some pumpkin a pumpkin cookie and glazed ham. That's delicious. Oh, that's bread. Would gladly take that. Kitchen counter. A door. A desk. What oh, a carbon substrate coming from this, so I will definitely take up these chairs. Oh, what is that? Is that a container? No, it's not, but I can scrap that for parts. Now, the mobile constructor would have at least crafted a couple or more wireless nodes by now. So we're going to go back and take a look. First, we're going to dump off what we've got. Then, oh wait, yes, indeed we do. So we've got three wireless modules. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise this up a bit. I'm going to stick these underneath. So I'm going to retrieve this block, that block, right there, stick that there, those three, nope, there's one more, so 
We can go even now. Uh, reclaim that. Reclaim that. Stick that there. Stick that there. There's another one that was made. Uh, it looks like there's more and more being made here. Let me see if I can get to the constructor. Ah, the last one was made. Uh, six. So, even number. This will help us big time. Okay, we don't have to traverse back and forth. I will just block these thrusters just because there's free space there. Now, let me turn the thrusters off and turn off the drills. Uh oh, we're drifting. That's not good. Okay. Whenever I turn... Why are we drifting? Something's not being turned off. New flight, new flight, new flight, new flight. Um... Hover engine. Aha! There's a hover engine that's not part of the group. Must have been the one that I had replaced. Better. There we go. Now that means I can go into the cargo bus, link up to it, and should have no problems salvaging from where I'm at to the ship. Salvage. Give me all your delicious components. Shower. There's a bunch of steel here. But I want your glass and electronics. That's steel plating. That's all that is. Uh, Salvage those, those have some good components in it. Yep, see, as you can see, nothing is appearing in my inventory. It all gets shoved in here. So it's very nice to have that wire, wireless component and an uh, and a HV that you can depend on. Oh, these are hydro. Ooh. These I want to claim. Uh, so actually, we're going to be making a core for this. Uh, can we do that? Yes, we can make a core. That's really good because then um, we have uh, some grow plots that we can utilize later. For growing our own crops, food, uh, I think only food. I don't think you can grow anything material wise, like plant fiber or anything like that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the core to be finished. I'm just gonna slap it like right in the middle of this area. Just gotta give it time. Oh, there used to be a sentry gun here. If the ship were online, it'd probably start firing at me. And the core is ready. And we're just gonna slap her right there. Now this area belongs to us. We are going to claim those farm plots. That's a really good find. Didn't think we'd find so many farm plots. 
And it's made of steel, so at least it's durable. Wonder how much they weigh. They probably weigh a fair amount. I have some materials back at the base waiting for me. Uh, for the small vessel. What we need from this mostly is copper ingots. Which... I don't know if I'm finding much copper based things. Um, I think what I'll do... Oops, I run it up inside here. What I think I'll do is I'll probably retrieve some of these parts, the antennas and whatnot, and especially this turret. Oh my. Okay, so it's too much. It's clearly too much weight. I can't carry that. What about if I did... I can't do it that way either. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Instead, we're just gonna have to scrap it. Is that a container? Small ammo box. Oh, sure is. Okay. Salvage. Salvage. Again, I'm not seeing much copper based material here. But we can get a lot of silicon and steel plates. Oh, yeah. And uh, cobalt. Oh, and a heck of a lot of fuel, too. Oh, <laughs> that's not fuel, that is oxygen. My bad. Um, I mistook that as fuel for sure. LCD. <clears throat> Makes me wonder, are there any fuel tanks on this thing? I am unsure if this thing has fuel tanks. It's probably at the other end. I could be mistaken and this just has no fuel tanks whatsoever. It could be, it could wind up being the front end of a uh, craft instead of the back end. Oh my goodness, here's more grow plots. However, I don't think I need that many, so I won't, I won't, uh... Ah, uh, then again. These are pretty valuable. It's starting to weigh... Ah! Uh, 877? Yeah, it does weigh a bit, so I'll hold off on that. But uh, I don't think this has a fuel tank anywhere. So, uh, <laughs> well, I thought it was fuel for sure, but it was just oxygen. Which is kind of sad, but kind of nice, I suppose. Oxygen isn't exactly needed yet. It will be useful for the small vessel but it's not hard to generate it yourself. Uh, as for this little trip, it's a bit bust on copper, but I think I can find some copper ore somewhere around. <laughs> I, I, and I have noticed that it slows down this uh, 
HV significantly once you uh, store as much weight as it has currently. Uh, it could go much faster than this just because of the medium thrusters that I slapped to the back. But yeah, it's picking up. It just it just takes a moment. We're gonna head back to the base here. Uh, and there should be a ton of carbon substrate available to us. I hope it's enough. But we can also start sleeping once we get there to speed up production when necessary. Hoping that it is enough, I might be able to just shove some technology inside the factory to get it, uh, to get the copper it needs. It's busy loading chunks, so here and there it'll freeze. That is a silicon. There is a copper deposit. I think what we'll do first is dump our inventory into the base here. Do we have access to the base from here? No, we do not. It doesn't go that far. Shove it all in here. Now that that's out of the way, the hovercraft can truly zip away. Um, I'm gonna go to that copper deposit and scrounge some of that up. I'm gonna make the uh, Polaris uh, unhappy that way, but not to the point that they want to kill us. Uh, I should probably slap on some extra hover modules next time I'm uh, working on this craft so that it has an easier time staying above the ground and moving more freely. Alright, got the drills. Let's get drilling. What's happening here? How strange. Come on. Something is catching the vehicle? Oh, it's the turret. That would make sense. The turret on top is catching the piece of terrain above. Or as you can see down the lower left hand corner, Polaris Megacorp is not very happy with his mining resources, but it is ever so needed that we do collect some of it. <sighs> it came in at a bad angle again. Like, I should have put some medium thrusters on the front end to be able to get out more easily. I'm getting, getting 
invest. Come on. Just not enough technology on the hovercraft for it to be able to lift itself. That's all. I should have uh, put more thrusters on there, but I think I ran out of material earlier, which is probably why I got what I've got. O key can help uh, centralize the view angle of any craft. That kind of helps. Pressing O make sure makes sure that the vehicle that you're driving uh, forces it to be put at a stable view angle somewhere along zero zero axis if I should put it that way Can I have some of this or please? Thank you. And then I'm going to shove it over to the next side and that should be all that I need should be plenty of copper. Again, they're not going to be upset with us much longer once we're able to do missions and such like that. It's only 917 in the back. Not that bad. We can drive fairly easily. I can drop my altitude and just nest the vehicle right where it needs to be. All right, so now we've got some materials. Slap those in there. Two hundred forty-seven ores. That's pretty decent. We're gonna just start processing these ores or. Let's see, what was it? No, I need to start processing these two bars because of the factory. It won't accept much else. Two, four, five. Start both of these machines up on 50. I don't think I have enough for that, but at least they will continuously craft until it, it runs out of war. Uh, oh, wow, yeah, we have a bunch of carbon substrate. Uh, we need to get that in our player inventory. Thankfully, we carry carbon substrate. It's light enough. Uh, Oh yeah, look at that. Well, it, it, it was pretty darn close, that's for sure. Uh, just need to... Just need to get some more crafted. Uh, let me see what we've got. Copper ingots. ever so closer. 
What else requires copper ingot? If I know what else requires copper, that's cobalt. Electronics. Uh, might just be electronics. This requires advanced electronics. This has copper. That has copper. So if I snag me some advanced electronics, how much copper? It wouldn't add much. It does not add anything copper. So no, we won't do that. What else was there? Electronics had a purpose. I don't even think I have raw electronics. I must. Do oh no, I do. Eh, I jumped it up a fair bit. At least I can always make more raw electronics. But we do have a fair share of copper. I think it's available now. We got this one. Alright. Now, we just need that carbon substrate. I'm just gonna end this one and I'm gonna just make... 100 more batches worth. And we still have plenty of time to use the sleep function to speed up the production. Oh. There we go. And perfect. Now I'm going to shove the food in the fridge because I don't want it to spoil. I'm going to start the production of it. And I'm going to pitch the tent. And sleep. Okay, it seems that we cut the time in half. But, if we want to get that crafted right away, all we'd have to do is drive out somewhere. Just gonna close the door. Oh, forget you. Forget that you're automatic anyways. So, if we travel across this... across this pole on this planet, we might be able to get to the other side and have lots of nighttime that we could probably skip over. You can see the time rap rapidly change. It's now a permanent 24 hour clock. But being at this pole, yes. So once we make it across, it should be night time. Because now we are reaching the other side of the planet. It is pretty barren out here. I don't know if you could build on this kind of land, but it'd make perfect uh it'd make a perfect place to build a massive uh city, I would think. Here we are, we've made it to the other side. We're now we're now Easily seven kilometers away from the base just by traveling across the planet like that. We're almost. 
almost we've almost got the time and now I'm just gonna shut that down so that the drain and nine more minutes so by the time we make it back to home base we should be able to yeah just drive across this polar cap once more it's funny how these maps are made because it is just a flat randomly generated world unless this is one of those handmade maps but uh, it is just a flat laid out map but once you reach the polar cap here you start traveling across it it just gives that it gives that illusion that it is a globe It's just funny because the markers will just jump over to this new location all of a sudden. I was wondering why I couldn't turn. HV was kind of dragging across the ground. But that definitely helped speed up. Uh, the amount of time it, it would normally take to craft the SV enormously. We could probably wait the 10 minutes, but that would just add extra to the clock that we already have right now. So, we're gonna probably try to defeat it once again. We need to go this way because that's where the clock is draining most. And my foot's going to sleep. Pins and needles all over my ankles. We're getting to see a good portion of the planet, that's for sure. And I would definitely not want to spawn the vehicle in any kind of territory because they do not like that. I've already messed with the Polaris Mega Corporation enough. Okay. Now we're gonna come over on this island over here. Whoa! Must be near a. Uh, load of POIs and this will be plenty plenty of skipped time perfect the blueprint production has finally finished Terra Drifter is ready for placement let's go back to the base shouldn't be too far Eh, three kilometers. We'll get there. Because I do not want to leave this <sighs> hovercraft stranded where it should be. I definitely want to get the uh, small vessel made because it's going to be it's going to be uh, interesting to get out to space and see what's out there. Uh, I can't, I do not have any weapons attached, so I might make some weapons, weapon systems, smack them on, because I believe it already has an ammunition crate around there somewhere. It can't haul too many items, especially of great weight, because it is meant to be more of a uh, transportation 
getting in and out of the atmosphere and traveling across the planet. Okay, so just gonna slip on in here and take a breather. There we go. Okay. Pop that open. We're going to spawn the small vessel. This small vessel I had designed specifically for this survival game. It is loaded out with pretty much all your basic needs. It's got your scanner. It's got a bunch of, in fact, large thrusters, which is why it costed as much in cobalt and whatnot. It still has your armor locker. There's your ammunition controller. Uh, a, ho a whole bunch of the cargo crates are inside the craft because I typically just access my cargo from within here. It's a Terra Drifter, a go container controller. So, it can store a fair amount. I mean, 1,125 is not too bad. 500 in ammunition. And as for harvest, not too bad on that either. So, it could probably lift a, a, a decent amount and go, get off uh, get off world with it. Um, though I have not actually tested the weight it can carry without too much of an issue, so we're just going to have to find out if it's uh, reliable enough. Okay. So, as for weaponry, we want at least some basic miniguns. Something to shoot bad guys with when we need to. Gatling cannon. We could add some minigun turrets. Pulse laser, rocket launcher. Ooh, guide. I can make it guided, can I? Pulse laser. Did I add an O2 station? Yes, I did add an O2 station. Good. Uh, CPU improved. Oh, wow. I wound it up. Wow! What timing? First Xerox base attack. Well, um, this was unexpected. I don't know if I can get this. I think I can get this SV off its feet. Um, well, let's just hope. Oh, yeah. This thing is more than capable of getting off its feet. Uh, can this fit? Well, you know, as fancy as the fins are, as fancy as the fins are, it's not going to do us any good right now to have them cosmetically. Just to have them cosmetically. We will add them later once we get our capital ship because I did build the capital ship around this kind of. Well, and we're not quite ready with that capital ship yet because I haven't quite uh, finished making that one, and it's more designed to be an end game vessel, but it's far from complete. Oh. Perfect, perfect. The vessel still functions as normal as it should. I just need to show some stuff. Okay. If... Wait a minute. If 
my base is being attacked. The question is, which one are they attacking? I've claimed multiple areas now, so... I could be lucky in there attacking the other. Oh, I did leave a portable instructor there, didn't I? I forgot that I had a whole bunch of material over there. Okay, so we're gonna go check this base out real quick, and then we might be able to work with the small vessel to get it out and space worthy. Um, we're gonna see if they're attacking this base over here. If not, we're just extra lucky. Oh no. Nope, they're attacking that base, I think. Oh? I think we're lucky in this case. However, I did see something up in the sky. It, uh... I have no idea, but I'm just gonna say we're... We're gonna be... We're very lucky in this front. Having multiple bases... Is... Kind of helpful. We want these weapon upgrade kits and everything. So we're going to transfer as much as we can. Good. All that inside. Nothing left. Yep, I'm just going to say we got very lucky. And that our base is not going to be attacked at this moment. They're going to target one of the other cores. It's a viable tactic, that's for sure. You can hope that it deters them away from your base by capturing and owning multiple other bases. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna plant this here. And we're gonna continue up we with what we were doing. Um a small vessel uh this can craft basic gatling cannons and to make nitrocellulose we need plant fibers which dang it tells me that i have to go chop wood <sighs> go figure Worries though. Good training yet. Cargo box. And it's harvest controller. And have this make plenty of ammo. And whatever spare can go into the. Oh! Unguided? That. That can be used for normal rockets, I guess. So we're gonna make put thirty. That way we have plenty to spare. Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the current round oh, current rounds we've got. Terra Drifter. 
Oh yeah, that they can carry that much. Um, that will be plenty for now. Uh, container. I do want to put the fuel in there. Oh, well, I guess we weren't so lucky. We've got visitors. Okay. Um. Where are they now? Are they attacking? Those guys do look serious. Rocket siege drone? What are they doing? They seem to be bugged. As far as I can tell. Uh, 132 meters. Probably gonna pay for this if they see me. Hundred and thirty two. Xerax sure isn't happy with us. Nor is a bunch of other factions. That's strange. I don't know what what's wrong with him. Uh, however, I might be able to manually control one of these turrets to do some damage. Alright, so... I wanted to get the... Uh, I want to get turret on uh, here we go incendiary auto cannon nice. slow fire explosive damage anti armor well you want the anti armor rounds. Why is it not hitting? Alright, dead. <laughs> Xeno are not happy with us. Xerox Empire are definitely not happy with us. dead. That one's dead. Alright, so these things are bugged, but I am getting experience. And we successfully defended our base. Okay, well that was awkward. That's not at all as I would thought it was going to turn out. Let's just say that we're lucky and uh, move on from there. So uh, the minigun turrets, yes, uh, they are ready. We are going to go apply them on the small vessel now. Mm. Ah, this would be a good place to put them. Take these blocks out. Slap them on either side. Perfect. Uh. All weapon systems are deactivated while well. docked. Okay, that's fine. Those marks are going to bug me. I wish I could loot them. But they're stuck up in the air. Or maybe I can actually. 
this small vessel will be able to do what it needed to do. If uh, I can get it out. Okay. Lesson learned. This thing is just too damn big to get out. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Come on. Oh boy. There we go. I just won't stick it back in there anymore. Okay, you uh, glitchy freaking drones. Let's, uh, oh, hello. Okay, well, they have fallen down into the water. This is an ideal situation. Styles, components to use. Some fuel. And where'd the other one go? I know the fourth one around here somewhere. Uh, but it's nowhere to be found. Thank you. That one. Uh, uh, it looks like to be among this pile right here. Yep, it is. It is among this pile here. Oh, cool. So we found some missiles. Got some components from them. That's nice. Best in a missile launcher just yet, but uh, our Gatling should be should suffice enough for some simple arms fire. But uh, yeah, this thing this thing will be all right enough to go check out space. So let's go check out some space. Leaving the planet for the first time. All of Akua, or at least for this survival experience. Ah, yes, here we are. The outer reaches of space. Is there anything that we can detect immediately? There is a couple energy signatures, especially this purple one right here. I definitely want to check out this purple one. So I'm going to drift towards it. We're going to check it out. I'm going to stretch the time a little here. It's already uh, the recording's already at an hour, but I think it would be pretty interesting to check out some space action right now. I know the majority has still been some base management, and other such stuff, but since we got the small vessel up and going, oh wait. Oh, that's, that's another five kilometers out there, so we're safe. We're good. I wonder if that's a base or a construct... Oh. oh, I know what this is. This is one of those derelict places, isn't it? Yeah. Planetary remnants. But look at that Promethean fuel. Not only that, the Pentaxid. Um, it's going to take a moment for this drill to chow down through it, I think. Not only that, it's highly radioactive. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to chow through that without a, a proper laser, but... Oh. Also, it's dangerously cold, so uh, I sh if I'm going to do something, I should bring the ship nearby so I can keep myself warm. did not have her bring food, so I am a bit ill-prepared for this. That's fine. It won't be terribly long. Then. Station lockdown, deadly force authorized. Whoa. the door. It's gonna drain my food pretty fast. <sighs> Can I shoot to the door? Anything like this? Apparently I'm firing my my weapons, but damage that door at all? No, I am not. Do I have C4 on? No, I do not. Yeah, I am a little underprepared for this, so um, may not be able to do anything. I won't be able to do anything just yet. I need a I need a proper suit upgrade to keep me warm. And I need to bring proper supplies so that I can stay alive. For now, we're just gonna head back to the base and uh call it a night. Well, um so now we've got a small vessel going. We can travel space. And um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more interesting things going on in the next coming episode because I should uh, be more readily prepared because I think I'll be preparing some supplies off, off camera for us, get some, get some ammo, uh, get a proper amount of food, uh, medical supplies, all that kind of jazz, so... I'll definitely need to prepare before I start the next video because Planetary Remnant is going to be a difficult one if I don't drill through that rock because there's a lot of nasties in there and if I had the proper drill I could just easily drill right through the rock to access some of that good loot that that place is hiding. Now we're just going to land it right here because this thing is just way too big to fit through the door properly. Anyways, I do appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, next time should be a little more interesting now that we're getting up out into outer space with our small vessel more like a moderate vessel it's kind of it's bigger than most small vessels that i've designed but that depends on your preference of what is big and what is small but anyways again thank you hope you enjoyed i'll catch you in the next episode hope you have a good night good day whatever time zone you may live in see you around